this segment, we're calling a wise investment. For it is very wise when we are led by the Spirit of the Lord. And here we are in front of you to say that God is so mindful of you today. He is so mindful of you in the season. He is mindful of you and desires that you really enter into a place of rest and that you be refreshed and rejuvenated, that you be at your best, that you be renewed, that you be revived, that you just be in tune with his spirit and in tune with his flow. Because in the world today, there's a lot of hustle and bustle and people are getting ready for the holidays and different things. And there also can be a lot of stress and duress and anxiousness and worrying in this time of the season but how good it is for us to pause for the cause and rethink and reflect, how shall we spend this time? Shall we invest in time? Meaning that we wanna invest in a place of rest and peace and joy as we travel along the way. We want this time to count. We we don't wanna just burn it up and it's gone. We don't want to burn it up in it. We look around and there are sad memories that are looked back in this time, you know, but we want to be able to say that I just took a chill pill. I sit back and I did what I wanted to do, what would just bring me joy. I was at a place of peace. I was at a place of relaxation. I was in a place of rest and just being refreshed and that you refuse to get caught up with the uh, cares of this life, that you refuse to get on the bandwagon with the hustle and bustle of life, but you chose to hmm, it could be be still and know that he's God. You chose to maybe No, I'm going to sit back and I'm going to look at the uh, holiday parades. I'm going to look at football. I'm going to spend this time really keying in with the family and reflecting on some places that God has bought us from. Um, I'm going to enjoy. I'm going to spend this time wisely. I will not let anxiety have any moment in time in my life. I will not have... um, worry or stress to keep company with me in this hour but i am going to a place of rest i choose not to get caught up in the whirlwind of life i choose not to get caught up even with what's going on all around the world we're going to pray we're going to ask god for his divine intervention in places but I choose to cast every care upon the Lord. What is it about God that desires that we rest, that we have his peace, that would cause Jesus to say, uh, in the book of John, the 14th chapter, my peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. What is it about the love of God that desires that we flow in peace? My goodness, you know, can you imagine what heaven would be like? No more crying, no more dying, no more worrying, no more stress, no more fear. Uh, No more anxiousness, no more anger, no more unforgiveness, no more unrest, no more upheaval that we will be in a perpetual place of peace and rest. And so sometimes in this life, you know, when we hear God wants us to have peace, it can be a little foreign to us. You know, it can be a little, uh, the flesh will come in and say, oh, look like something I ought to be happening or something uh, troublesome might be on the horizon. I'm scared of this peace. We bind that in the name of Jesus. But God wants you to have peace, praise God. But you know, while I'm here, I can't think of another thing that would be more joyful and wise to do. And we're going to hit it and quit it today. But I, I do have this particular psalm. Psalms 119 verse 1 that I want to read and share, you know, 
And the Bible said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. So somewhere in time, we have to find the time to uh, meditate on the word of the Lord. Give attention to the word of the Lord. Now, I don't know if you know Jesus or not, you know, but it is still good for us to begin to learn some things that we don't know, begin to study about some things that we've heard about, not just throw it away because we don't understand it or we've not had an encounter with God. So it's a good day for you to, to take heed and listen. Let's listen. We're going to share our, one of our favorite scriptures with you. And Psalms 119, it's awesome Psalms to read, to pray, you know, and it is uh, said that it could be David, uh, Ezra or uh, a couple of others that could have wrote this Psalms. It is unknown who wrote it, but uh, powerful it is. Psalms 119.1. How blessed and favored by God are those whose way is blameless, those with personal integrity, the upright, the gallous, who walk in the law, and who are guided by the precepts and the revealed will of the Lord. And when we read this, it's like going to a restaurant. When you walk away, you know, if it's a good restaurant, oh, how great it is to take carryouts with you. And so what will we carry out from this Psalms? And did I read it and you, it slipped over your head, slipped over my head? Let's read it again. How blessed and favored by God whose way are blameless. Those with personal integrity, the upright, the guileless, who walk in law and who are guided by the precepts and the revealed will of the Lord. You wanna know what blessed is? You wanna know what it is to be happy uh, and favored? God is looking for those whose way is blameless, those with personal integrity, those who will walk pleasing in his way. And it does not mean that you're doing everything the way you should. You know, sometimes we fall short of the mark. But thank God for 1 John 1 and 9, it says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And we can go back and ask God for forgiveness and Keep it moving. And should we miss the mark again? Let's cover that offense with the blood of Jesus. Let's go back. God, forgive me. Give me strength to get this right. God, let me have personal integrity. Help me, oh God. Give me grace to do things that will please you. What a prayer to pray. Always inviting God in to help. He's here. He desires. He is our help. He is also the God of hope and wants us to have a hope in this season. What are you hoping for in this season? The other day, the Lord reminded me as I was sharing with someone else, he reminded me how good it is to have a hope and also to be mindful, what are you hoping for today? And to take what you're hoping for today, share that with the Lord, share your dreams with the Lord. What a way to build your relationship with the Lord by sharing with him, telling him, Lord, you know, I'm hoping, I'm hoping all my kids will grow up and that they would just walk in their destiny and their purpose, that they would uh, do what you put in their hearts to do. Lord, I'm hoping to take my dream vacation. Lord, I am hoping to get stronger in you. God, I'm hoping to be used by you to do great things in life, to be a blessing. Whatever that hope is, God, I'm hoping to redecorate my house. God, I'm hoping to build some new friendships and relationships in this season. God wants us to share those things with him. Now, look at this. Watch this now. What a way to build your relationship with God. See, uh, in serving the Lord, it's about a relationship with him. We come into a relationship. We encounter him. He wants to be present in our life. He wants to be reality in our life. So how good it is. And this is our hour. Let's just work on that thing. Share our dreams with God in this season. Lord, I don't want to get caught up in the fanfare of the holiday rush or this or that. Every year, Lord, I get caught up in that. I want to rest from that, Lord God. 
he i tell you knows how to deliver you from those things oh glory to god if we had time i could tell you about years before i met jesus and the hustle of bustle you're rushing to get gifts and this and that and the other but oh i found out there's a resting place in god and i tell you oh my words he can deliver you from what you thought you had to do he can deliver you from a place of being driven to um do things that uh can be costly to us some things that we may not be able to afford to do he can deliver us and then we recognize that jesus is a reason for the season praise god so we celebrate his being we celebrate his reality in our life and uh, at this point bless god i am getting out of here but i pray that it be well with you i pray that your day would be a refreshing day we pray bless god that the peace of god will be your portion we pray that the wind the breath of god will just be released into your life today we pray that you get excited about the things of god as never before and that you're excited about the new um revelation that god will give uh, as you desire as you go forth as you dig into that word praise god as you spend time with the lord we pray bless god that you just take time to uh as some say smell the roses along the way value that which is good value the blessings the family the friendship and that you take time for you as you go along the way and there's no better place for you and for I than to rest, yeah, in the presence of the Lord. So God bless you. Don't forget, invest in time. I thought I'd just take a few minutes and invest in time and talk to you and witness for our Father. And just to let you know that Jesus loves you, praise God. And because he that is joined to the Lord is one spirit, guess what? I love you too, praise God. So you be encouraged today. God bless you. Praying for you. All right.